is the Neurodiver's user manual. Manual putting it lightly, though, since a lot of it is works in theory. But I need to memorize, well, basically all of it to prepare for my Neurodiver certification exam tomorrow. I've already used the Neurodiver in a handful of controlled tests with other espers. But I won't have authorization for any real-world use until I get this exam out of the way. So... I've gotta power through this. That's the Neurodiver. Most people expect a computer, but they're a fully organic life form. And they're very cute. And easily flattered. I'd love to watch some TV right now, but I need to focus on memorizing this manual. can't leave until I've memorized this stupid manual. Ugh, I hate... I guess highly classified documentation for cutting-edge experimental biotech isn't usually turned into an audiobook. The Neurodiver. Yep, that... The Neurodiver is an artificially created life form imbued with psychic abilities similar to those of human espers. An asper! <laughs> yes, that's me. An asper can create a psychic link between any intelligent life form, the host, via the Neurodiver to enhance their ability to read the memories of the host. <sighs> Just resting my eyes. <laughs> I'll keep reading in a second. Okay, gotta stay focused. The Neurodiver also allows for the defragmentation of the host's memories, should any fragmentation exist via any of the following means. Neurological disease, such as Alzheimer's disease, see Appendix 14 for examples, physical trauma, such as concussion, see Appendix 15 for examples. The Neurodiver also shows promise in reversing psychic trauma, as inflicted by Esper Psionics. However, due to the wide variety and mutability of Esper Psionic powers, there's only anecdotal evidence at this time. Uh... Hey, ES88. Sorry to make you come in over the weekend. Wherever the Neurodiver is, I go. That's my job as its guard. Well, I appreciate it. And the Neurodiver does too. I did fine on the field test the other day. But trying to cram all of these facts into my head for the written exam is making my head hurt. You'll get it. You just need to focus on why you're doing this in the first place. Do it, Gate. It's my job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's a reason you're here at Minerva. And a reason you want to become a better Esper by using the Neurodiver. Why I want to become a better Esper? To help people. With the Neurodiver, we can help people recover memories they lost. Memories of important events or loved ones. It's kind of idealistic. But I hope, with the Neurodiver, I can help someone better remember someone or something dear to them. Oh, some kind of psychic therapist, then. I guess you can call it that, sure. Well, no matter what you call it, you're doing it to help others. That seems like the right reason to me. <laughs> Anytime, ES-88. Actually, while you have the Neurodiver out, I was wondering if you could do a favor. Friend? Whoa, he's... He's... Huge! Huge ego, baby. This is Crow. 
<laughs> wow, a real bona fide esper. Thought you guys were just uh, some kind of conspiracy theory. Uh. Sorry, I've never seen an esper up close before. I heard you all had golden eyes, but. I guess they're a dead giveaway. Kind of like how I know you're a hybrid just by looking at you. <laughs> Touche. Crow, this is ES88, our resident psychic therapist and neurodiver expert. Wait, what? She'll be diving into your memory to help you recover what you've forgotten. That's, uh... That's some intro, Gate! I wouldn't say it if it wasn't true. ES-88 is the best neurodiver user in Nerva, which is to say, the world. And she was just saying how she hopes to use the neurodiver to help people remember what they've lost. <laughs> this is more of a problem with something I found, but I can't remember why I had it. Oh, hear that, ES-88? A psychic mystery. Can I just, um... Gade, can we talk for one sec? Privately. Sure. One sec, Crow. Take your time. Gay, who is this guy? Just an old buddy of mine from the war. You mean the war during which you were a soulless machine programmed to kill? Hey, just because I was a literal killing machine doesn't mean I didn't make friends. Well, whatever. If I mess this up, I could really do some damage to your friend's psyche. Relax. Crow is tough as nails. Some of the stuff he pulled off in the war, it would be legendary if it wasn't all completely top secret. Look at him. He's built to withstand anything. <laughs> Physical power is one thing. We're talking about his mind. Relax. He already knows the risks, and he's fine with it. Right, Crow? It's true. Gate already gave me the rundown. I'm up for it, really. I mean, if you understand the risks, then I guess it's okay. Gate pretty much recited the manual on the way here, so I can say I have an exhaustive knowledge of the risks, in fact. Gate, you have this whole manual memorized? Of course. Anyone who works with the Neurodiver is required to read it. It helps that you actually like to read. And besides... I'll be here watching over you both during the dive in case anything goes wrong. If anything starts looking weird, I can pull you both out with the press of a button. Look at that. The Neurodiver's raring to go, too. Okay. Okay. I can do this. That's right. So, we can get started? Yes. First things first, tell me what memory specifically you're hoping to recover. Sure. It's uh, actually something that happened about ten years ago, just after the war ended. Since our tenure as soldiers was over, some friends of mine and I were doing some odd jobs to get some quick cash here and there. Our last job was selling some information to a buyer in Busan. The details are really fuzzy, but... Uh, I do remember that, for some reason, I decided to give my share of the payout to my friends. But then they claimed that I had stolen all of it for myself. I'll admit that isn't out of character for me, but I wouldn't do that to those guys. And on top of that, I didn't have any trace of any kind of money like that. Anywhere. Not in any of my accounts. So you think they took all of it for themselves and tried to cut you out? That's what I assumed, yeah. It ended up being a real sore spot between us all. And we actually haven't spoken since. For... for ten years? What made you question it now? Well, I was cleaning out my closet and found the jacket I was wearing that night. So you remember the clothes you were wearing, but not any details of what happened? Weird, right? But it gets weirder found this in one of the pockets. It looks like a shuttlecock. Uh, what? Uh, you know, like for Bagman. Uh, do 
you like badminton? No. Oh. Anyway, take a look at this. The information I was selling? This is it on this chip here. But I remember here trading this thing to the buyer for the money. And giving that money, all of it, to my friends. But if you have it here with you, that obviously didn't happen how you remember it, huh? What do you think, psychic therapist ES88? You think you can help Crow work through his broken friendships? That does sound like a fragmented memory. If you're ready, Crow, we can start the dive. Sure. What do I have to do? First, lift up your sleeve so the Neurodiver can have some skin contact with your arm. Then, stay still and try to relax. Hmm. All right. Let's get the Neurodiver out of its capsule. Once it makes contact, you're going to feel something... Don't forget your catchphrase, ES88. My... what? You know, that cool catchphrase you say whenever you start a dive. Oh, um... Now dive a go-go, baby! What? What does that even mean? I don't know, I panicked, sorry. Anyway, starting dive. I guess these are Crow's friends. Uh, hey guys. Wait. Crow? Crow? What? Uh, they don't recognize you. This was the first night they saw me after I became a hybrid. Finally cashed in some earnings from the war. Got it. You certainly made a... a big change. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, Hulk? Angry that the run is finally your size? I just think he looks like... Like what? He looks like... He looks like a... He looks kind of like a freak, if you gotta know. What? I look better than you, asshole. Hey, 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 no backseat driving! Uh, uh, diving. I'll do the talking for you based on what was going through your mind at the time. So, you're piloting my body through this whole thing? That's right. Just sit back and relax while I read your memories. I look better than you, asshole. Why, you little... What? <laughs> that did feel kind of good to say. <laughs> right. It is good to see you. Really. That's what you meant, right, Hawk? Yeah. Yeah. You guys had some, uh, business you wanted to do here, right? Ha! <laughs> What's the rush, Crow? Let's have a round together. <laughs> yeah, come on. Loosen up. Okay, what are we drinking? Hey, now the kid's here, we can order the special, right? Oh, 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 right, 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 hey. Take a look at this, Crow. It says, New Year's special. Celebrate unification with the Manseju cocktail. What's man say? I think it's pronounced more like man say. That's what I say. Man say. <laughs> anyway, it means. Oh, you know. Bonsai. Salute. Life. We did just get out of a war, you know. Folks feel like celebrating. Did you call me here just to read a poster for you? <laughs> I wouldn't put it past these guys. Hey, 
You're lucky we invited you out at all. Whoa, whoa. That's enough, Hulk. Um, go ahead and order a round of those, um, Monse Juice Crow. Then we can get to business, all right? This place has great drinks. Trust me. Um, go ahead and order. Then we can get to business, all right? Less talking, more drinking! Nothing out of the ordinary so far. I guess I should go order those drinks. What are they kicking around? Oh! It's the same shuttlecock thing that Crow brought to Minerva. You want in on this? Uh, sorry? Come on. I'll play you for a round of drinks. Okay. What do I... It's Jaggy Chaggy. When I kick the Jaggy to you, kick it back without letting it drop. The Jaggy? This thing. You really never played Jaggy Chaggy before, huh? Oh, so that's what it's called. What? Right. How could I have forgotten that? This whole memory's pretty rough. There's some kind of ambient psychic signature that I can't put my finger on. Uh... Don't worry. Once I fix all of the fragments with the Neurodiver, you'll remember this night like it was yesterday. Seems like I just scored a free drink then. Okay, let's play. All right. Oh, you got me. So all that what's a jeggy stuff? I think you were bluffing, huh? Are you some kind of jeggy choggy shark? Honestly, I've never played before. Well, either way, seems like I owe you a drink. What are you having? Ah, oh, don't worry about it. I'm actually here with. Oh! <sighs> Where's our drinks, Crow? We're dying over here! Hulk, we're not supposed to be making a scene. Okay, but where are our drinks, Crow? So you're already here with some friends, huh? Yeah, I, uh, I guess I am, actually. Sorry. It's no problem, really. I was actually on my way out before I saw you. Why don't you take this Jeggy as a souvenir? I'll see you around, maybe. I sure hope so. I'll beat you next time. <laughs> wow, Crow is way smoother with random bar encounters than I could ever hope to be. Manse! Wow, a memory fragment. Just like in the manual. Why, Why do I remember a giant baby working at the bar? Well, when a fragment occurs, your brain tries its best to make a complete memory by filling the void with something else. There's not a lot of rhyme or reason to what goes where, but usually it'll be something that was emotionally striking. Emotionally striking? Your memories depend on emotional connections to stay in your head. The stronger the connection, the stronger the memory fragment. I guess you have a soft spot for cute little babies. Uh, anyway, repairing these issues is exactly what the Neurodiver does best. We'll get to it then. Fragment. Why do I? Well, what, there's an emotion. Your map is strong, I guess. <sighs> uh, any we'll get to. <laughs> wow, my first real repaired fragment. What? How do 
do you feel, Crow? Any numbness? Nausea? Do you smell bird toast? Uh, no. I'm good. What are they doing using such an old computer? Oh, right. This was ten years ago. Whew. That's a... Right? I mean... Four of these Monseju cocktails. Mm. Please? Uh-uh. You have to order it correctly. With spirit. Spirit? Really? Monse! Monse! You're saying I gotta throw my arms over my head to get my drinks. We're celebrating, kid. Get in the spirit of things. Monse! Okay, fine. Monse! Keep going. Excuse me? Uh-uh. You wanted four drinks, right? Monse! Monse? Monse! Monse! <laughs> I told you he'd get him to do it. What? They put you up to all that, didn't they? They're always doing stupid pranks like this. Ugh, we got a guy in the psionics lab like that. It's the worst. Here's your drinks. They're already on the old guy's tab. <laughs> Which old guy? Let's see what kind of liquor they have here. Oh, who am I kidding? I don't know anything about liquor. It all looks really fancy, though. Wow, look at that amazing music selection. Is what I assume. I know as much about music as I do about booze. I bet all the cheap liquor is hidden in there. I see you, tiny robot. Wow, Crow's memory must be pretty good to remember little details like this. Here you go, Sparrow. Thanks, Crow. You certainly were enthusiastic out there. Here. <laughs> Thanks, kid. Glad to see you could still take a joke. Al, this one's for you. <laughs> Thanks, girl. <laughs> and, um, thanks for the, um, you know, entertainment. Kanbei. Kanbei! <laughs> uh, what, what's that one mean again? Cheers, Hulk. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Kanbei! You know, you never did get the hang of Korean. Well, excuse me if I was too busy keeping your asses alive to crack open a book. Crow's the one who acclimated the best of all of us. Are you going to miss it here, Crow? I think I'll miss it here. I don't miss the war, for sure, but I was getting used to the place. Same here. It's been a nice change of scenery, despite... Everything. <laughs> you two have always been so sentimental. Hey, this is where we all met, after all. Even if it was. Monse! Monse! <laughs> Someone else ordered the special, sounds like. Whoa! I think I just felt something shift in the memory. Oh, hey, that's a. Hulk, shut it. Do you know the guy who just ordered, or something? That's the guy we're making the deal with. Well, excuse me if I didn't want your- Hulk, what did I just say? So, what's the plan? He's buying information. Um, damn. Which one of us is holding that chip? Huh? Oh! It's, uh, uh... What is this thing again, Hulk? asking me? 
to Jeggy, right? Oh, how did you know, Crow? I, uh, someone by the darts area gave me one. Interesting. Well, this one is a little different. Sparrow had the idea to hide the information chip in here, to keep the handoff from looking too conspicuous. Sure, you're making it conspicuous by opening it. Oh, right. So that's it. Give this Jeggy to that guy who just walked in? Yep, and he's gonna give us a big pile of money. Simple a deal as they come. Looks like he's taking a seat up by the darts. Yep, you got this, Crow. I've got this? You're probably the only one in the right state of mind to pull this off right now. State of mind? I mean, uh, we've had a few rounds before you came here, Crow. And besides, with your new modifications, you're easily the most intimidating of the four of us now. Hey, 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 hey! What's that supposed to mean? I'm just as intimidating as Crow. Way more! <laughs> even if you were, you're not even half as sober. Here, Crow. We'll head out once you sit down with the binder. We'll meet you later at the usual rendezvous spot. Another fragment! This is what? the second time a child has come up in a fragment for you. Crow, you really take a shine to kids, huh? I... I bet you used your cat-like reflexes to swap the kite out of the tree for him. I did help him, yeah. Didn't even thank me, just ran off. Guess I scared him away. Scared of you? But you're so fuzzy wuzzy! Can we get back to fixing my mind here, please? Right, sorry. <laughs> was it? At least I think it was. Crow? What? Who the hell is that? At the table there. Wait, you mean you still don't remember? Even though the fragment is fixed? I remember sitting at the table for sure, but... Are you okay? Are you sure you want to keep going? Yeah, yeah. Let's get to the bottom of this. I don't like this. I'd better keep my guard up. Oh, huh! I guess 2058 was the year of the tiger. <laughs> They're so cute and chubby. Kinda weird looking face, though. Where's the nose? Hey, uh, yeah. Let me guess. You'd like to sit here, yes? How? How did I know what you were going to ask? Well, Crow, I know plenty of things. Oh, lovely. I have your interest, and you have the information I want. Come, have a seat. Let's, uh, get this trade over with quickly, then. If you don't mind. Do I make you uneasy, Crow? Does it seem like I know too much? Normally I don't talk feelings with clients, but, uh, yeah, man. You're freaking me out a little. Do you know what an Esper is, Crow? Never heard of it. You should never deprive yourself of education, Crow. <laughs> never know when you might need that little bit of information. I'm just here to make a sale. That's it. School's out for summer. An Esper is an individual who possesses psychic abilities. Each one unique. Each one varying in power level. Espers, as we know them, are the result of mutations. Randomly occurring. With some espers not even understanding the extent of their power. But there have been many advances in the study of espers done in secret. 
There's now information on how to produce them. And that, Crow, is the information you're going to give me tonight. Give nothing, pal. This is a sale. I'm happy to walk if you disagree. Uh-uh. I said what I meant, Crow. You're gonna give me that information. And why would I do that? Because I'm an esper myself, Crow. Granted, not a true one. I was hybridized in an attempt to gain some esper powers. Well, bully for you. No interrupting my monologue! The information you've concealed in that jeggy, cute trick, by the way, will allow me to realize my full potential. That said, even in my current state, I do have enough power to make you believe that we had an exchange as planned. When in fact, you simply gave me the information for free. All right, this is a big weird hassle. I'm out. <laughs> it's already done, Crow. I've been writing you a new set of memories about this night for our entire conversation. It's amazing how much of our reality is shaped by our memories of it. Don't know why I'm even telling you all this. It's not as if you'll remember it. Good night, Crow. <laughs> what? Whoa! What's happening? He really did start to rewrite your memory. But he's, uh, pretty bad at it. No wonder your memory is so messed up. <sighs> the link with the Neurodiver is destabilizing. Whoa. You two okay? I'm fine. Crow? I feel like I have brain freeze, but yeah. Seems like I and my mind are still in one piece. Did you end the dive gate? From out here? The neurodiver was looking a little sick. So I gently pulled them off and put them back in the capsule to rest. So, did you get to the bottom of Crow's information exchange? It wasn't so much an exchange as a psychic mugging. That idiot. After all that posturing, he must have taken the wrong jeggy in my other pocket. You think he got to the old birds too? Explains their half of the story not matching mine. Definitely. His powers seemed pretty crude, but they obviously were effective if it worked on you for so long. Well, at least this information is worth something, right? The stuff we were going to sell for all that money. Well, uh... Creating an Esper. Seems like some pretty serious tech, right? Yeah, but it's been ten years, remember? Since then, Minerva's basically perfected the science behind Espers. In fact, the information you have is likely the predecessor to the Neurodiver. It's the first completely synthetic Esper, you know? If that information was in the back of your closet for ten years, it sounds like you did Minerva a favor and kept it from leaking to our competitors for all that time. Huh. Figures. Well, it wasn't the information I was after in the first place. I'm gonna see if I can get in contact with the old birds. They probably won't believe what I tell them, so I hope you don't mind if I send them your way to get their memory set straight. I'd be happy to help. It feels like I'm really getting the hang of this thing now. I knew some field work was what you needed. Thanks for being our guinea pig, Crow. So, we're square after that poker game? <laughs> poker! See you two around. What now, ES88? Back to the study grind. No, you were right, Gabe. Doing a real dive made me feel a lot better about this test. Well, it's not exactly Busan, but you want to go down the street for some drinks? Let's do it! I could really use something sugary after expending all of that mental energy. We'll need to bring the neuron diver. I guess we have to. We 
aren't really supposed to leave it alone. It'll be fine. We'll just say it's an exotic fish or something. Let's pick a bar on the darker, louder side, then. 